Hello everyone, this is Billy. This is part two of my videos to show you how to use Fusion 360 to create a design for any crystal radio. This time we are looking at FM crystal radio. We'll design the moving plate and the fixed plate to create this vario capacitor, which is a bit hard to find for FM crystal radios. So you can make it using copper plates or even the tin plates from the Coca-Cola tank, uh, Coca-Cola cans. Before we start, I've added some ways you can support me. You can visit my Patreon in the description. You give me some minimal amount of money to buy me a cup of coffee. Or you can buy the electronic components where I provided the links to Amazon shops. If you go through those links, I will get a very tiny bit of money from Amazon, uh, but it will not increase the price of your purchase. So if you want to support my work, please use one of those two methods to help me. Otherwise, always like, subscribe, and share with your, your friends too. Thank you. From last part, we already created the two gears. Now let's create the uh, moving plate. First, we need to click on the top of the structure and then right click create new component. We create a new component called moving plate. That's the moving plate of our variable capacitor. Let's highlight the spur gear. Highlight it. Uh, 36 gear one. Then it highlights the surface of the gear and you click on this surface menu, click on the line and we draw a line. This line we are drawing is not for cons uh, not for the part, it's for a construction line. So it's help us create other shapes based on this line by referencing it. Once we finished the line, we will need to make sure it's perpendicular. Then we'll repeat this time to draw a horizontal line. Then we right click on the line and select construction line. So turn it into a construction line. And we will need to do it for the horizontal and the vertical line. You see the line change from the solid line to the dotted line. That means it's a construction line. Now we create a circle by pressing the C key and then drag out the size of the circle. It needs to be 8 millimeter because we're going to put some M3 uh, screws to fasten the moving plate. And we'll need to draw one at the center and a second one a little bit above it. So the moving plate will be secure in place even if it's moved around and will not be swinging here and there. So let's right click on the surface and shift and right click again here. And then select pull and press and pull. This will allow us to create a thickness of two millimeter and extract upwards. So we create two small cylinders which will be used to hold our moving plate together. Now we are going to draw the vertical and horizontal construction lines again for reference. So we click on L for line, draw a line upwards make sure the line is on that particular surface and we draw another line again click on the line command or press the L key draw in a horizontal line long enough make sure it's perpendicular to the vertical line then we right click on the line and select normal slash construction to turn it into a construction line 
and you see the doctor line there instead of solid line. This line will be for reference only. You will not be able to create any solid objects. Now let's press the S command for sketch and bring up the sketch menu. This time we will choose a feature called arc, ARC, and we choose the center point arc. So to make sure we can use it again, because we are going to use it a few times, uh, we can click the arrow at the end to add it to our menu. So we'll click that and you see one more button is on the quick menu. Then we can click that to select the arc feature. So the first point we need to fix is the center of the arc. Imagine there will be a circle for the arc and that is the center of that, that circle. So once we fix that, then we need to click the starting point of the arc. Uh, let's make our drawing larger so we can accurately point to that starting point. So we left click on the starting point and then move the mouse to the right to draw the arc. So we will draw around 22 degrees. That's enough for the arc for our uh, uh, variable capacitor. That is just one half of it. Later on we will use the mirror command to mirror it to draw the second half. Okay, so we we'll need to keep drawing this arc, draw a second one a little bit, a little bit down. Um, this second arc will define the bar that will hold the fixed plate together. Our first arc is 54 mm away from the center. The second one will be 48 mm, so we have a 6 mm space for the bar. Then we need to select the arc command again, click the center of the circle, and then draw a third arc. This arc is the starting point of our moving plate. So we keep a gap between the moving plate and uh, the bar so we can move freely. Again, 22 degree. Uh, so we keep about one millimeter clearance between the moving plate and the bar. Now we need to draw the last arc. This last arc represents the end of the fixed plate. So it's just a little bit above our wheel gear. So you will not be touching the wheel gear. You can freely move. Again, we select the arc command from the sketch menu, SS for the sketch menu, and then click on the center of the circle, starting point of the arc, 21 millimeter from the center, and then 22 degree for the arc. So let's finish by drawing the edge of that uh, moving plate. So we'll use the line command, click on the center of the circle and go all the way up to the end of the arc, the furthermost away. Now we have the edge of our moving plate. Because it's very hard to mount the screw, so we need to uh, draw the tail of the moving plate so it got some thickness then we can drill some holes to mount the screw again we use the line command we just touch at the edge of the circle there the 8 millimeter circle all the way go up to our uh, the beginning of the fixed plate let's draw a line there this will be a solid line. We won't turn it into a construction line because we really need to create solid out of this line. And then we click on the mirror command by pressing S key and type mirror. So once we have the mirror command, we need to select all the lines that we need to mirror over to the other side, to the left side. So including all this. And then we select the center line, which is the construction line in the middle. Once we select OK, 
you see all the lines have been duplicated to the other half yeah? so it's very symmetric and we won't worry about uh, not making the center this is the coolest thing about using a 3D design software we will always be able to match the center using the MIUI command now we need to create a new component let's right click and select create new component and then input the name of the component which is the lower bar we call it bar B uh, the lower bar will hold the fixed plate let's click OK then we right click on the sketch the top one is arc here we want this part to go downward so we we'll enter a negative number minus 6.2 millimeter You see a new body has been created. Now we need to highlight it in the browser, then press M key, M for mother, to move this part to the right place. So let's change the wheel to the right side. We need to move the bar directly on top of the baseboard. Because this is a base bar, we'll put a fixed plate on top, so we need to be just touching the baseboard. Sometimes it's hard to move to the exact uh, value. So you can use the measure command to measure it. Or you can input the decimal number directly, like minus 1.15 directly. So it will be touching the baseboard. Now let's create a new component called fixed plate. B, the bottom fixed the plate. Next, we are going to create a fixed plate, the lower one. So we'll select the sketch and then we'll right click and use the shift key, hold the shift key to uh, select all the other parts that make up the fixed plate, including this gap in between the bar and the, the other part of the fixed plate. Plate, so we need to enlarge it to highlight it. So that's the whole surface of the fixed plate. Right click, press pull, we input the thickness. We're using 0.8 millimeter copper plate. So we input 0.8. Again, we use the minus key because it's created downwards. Okay, now we have the fixed plate of the variable capacitor created, the lower one. And we'll need to again move it down to the right position, highlighting the body and press the letter M key and then use the arrow key to move it down. Now we need to create another new component which is the upper bar that sits between the two fixed plates to give them the separator. So let's input R U that means upper bar. We select the pattern of the bar, right click and press pull, and then we we'll select highlighting the upper bar down by two millimeter browser. We press the M key the upper bar. Then we'll see the arrows, and we drag the arrows up and down uh, to move this upper bar just on top of the first fixed plate. So let's expand it, make it easier to see and move. And then we'll just move that uh, upper bar down, touching the first fixed plate, like this. Now let's create another component. 
the upper fixed plate, so highlight the root component and then create component, input the name of the component called fixed U, that means the upper fixed plate. Now we highlight the sketch, make sure we select all the parts that make up the fixed plate, including the gap between the upper bar and the fixed plate, and then right click, press pull, and then input the thickness of that upper plate, which we will be creating using 0.8 millimeter copper plate. So Let's put in 0.8 millimeter. Click OK, and the upper plate will be created. Now we're going to create a moving plate. So first, go to the browser and activate the moving plate by clicking the radio button. And then we have to look at the moving plate. We got the sketch here, so let's highlight the sketched area to create our moving plate by selecting every surface area that is part of the moving plate including the tail here and the circle here yeah select all that and then enter the thickness of 0 0.0 uh, 0.8 millimeter click OK you have the moving plate Now we are back to the business of drilling holes. To drill holes, we will highlight the knob first. Just click the radio button on the browser to activate the knob. And then we will click uh, type C for circle. And move the mouse to the point center of this knob. You will see a uh, index. And then just drag out the circle. Then right click. Uh, to select press pull right click to select press pull and then push it down so we're going to use uh, extend to object instead of fixing the number so we select the bottom of the baseboard so the drill will drill through and create a hole all the way to the bottom of the baseboard like this then we can click OK next highlights the moving plate from the browser and clicks the radio button to activate it so one of the nice feature of Fusion 360 is the timeline once you click on the moving plate, you find that the timeline has only two steps. One is drawing the sketch, the other one is extending it to a solder. So we'll right click on the second one and click edit. And then we'll get a chance to reselect the surface. This time we unselect the circle inside, that will create the hole when we extend it. To drill the hole further down through the baseboard, we highlight the pattern of the hole, the circle here, right click, press pull, and then we select ex uh, extend to distance. And then we select two objects, select the base of the baseboard and then change to cut and then OK. Stop the moving plate by swinging to further, further left hitting the coil. We need to create a stopper. Turn to the face on the left side of the bar, right click, press pull. We need to uh, add a little thickness to here around one millimeter 
there's enough gap between the variable plate and the stopper, click OK. So that side of the face will be extended for one millimeter. Next, highlight that surface we just extended, and then click on Sketch, the Line command, uh, uh, the, the Rectangle command, draw a two-point rectangle. It's high enough to block the uh, moving plates. Once we got the pattern, highlight the pattern, every part of it, right click, press pull, and we will make it a solid by giving it a thickness of 3 mm. Click OK. We are almost done now. The last step is to drill holes onto the baseboard to mount all the components, the electronic components and headphone jacks, screws and things like that. But the video is getting too long, I'll issue a part 3 to finish the project. So thanks again for watching. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share with your friends too. I've added a Patreon account if you want to support me. Visit the link in the description and just offer me a cup of coffee or something. Also, if you want to buy some components or the 3D printer, you can try to use the links I put into the description. They are Amazon links. You won't get a price uplift. But through these links, if you purchase the equipment, Amazon will give me just a tiny little bit of money to support my work. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.